today is a deep dive into the shifter from Monsters of the Multiverse. And this video is intended to give you some options of what you can do with the shifter, where it shines and where it might not be the best. So let's jump into it, starting with their flavor text. Shifters are sometimes called wear touched as they are descendants of people who contracted full or partial lycanthropy. Humanoids with a bestial aspect, shifters can't fully change shape, but they can temporarily enhance their animalistic features by entering a state they call shifting. Shifters are similar to humans in height and build, but are typically more lithe and flexible. Their facial features have a bestial cast, often with large eyes and pointed ears. Most shifters also have prominent canine teeth. They grow fur-like hair on nearly every part of their bodies. While while a shifter's appearance might remind an onlooker of an animal, they remain clearly identifiable as shifters even when at their most feral. Most shifters resemble a particular kind of lycanthrope. You can choose the kind of lycanthrope in your past, or you can determine it randomly by rolling on the lycanthropy ancestor table. The table also provides a suggestion for the shifting option you might have as a result of your ancestry. So werebears, wereboars, were rats, were tigers, werewolves that are wolf-like, and werewolves that are dog-like are your options. Moving into our traits, we are a humanoid, we are size medium, with a walking speed of 30 feet. Our first feature is bestial instincts, and we get to choose one of the following, acrobatics, athletics, intimidation, or survival, and we gain proficiency in it. We have dark vision out to 60 feet. We also have our premier feature, which is shifting. As a bonus action, we can assume a more bestial appearance. This transformation lasts for one minute until you die or until you revert to your normal appearance as a bonus action. When you shift, you gain temporary hit points equal to two times your proficiency bonus, and you can shift a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus, and we gain all expended uses when you finish a long rest. Whenever Whenever you shift, you gain an additional benefit based on one of the following options. This option is selected when you choose the race. So you can think of these options as sub races. The first up is Beast Hide. You gain 1d6 of additional temporary hit points, and while shifted, you have a plus one bonus to your armor class. Long Tooth. When you shift as a bonus action on your turns and while you're shifted, you can use your elongated fangs to make an unarmed attack. If you hit with your fangs, you can deal piercing damage equal to 1d6 plus your strength modifier instead of the bludgeoning damage normal for an unarmed strike. Swift Stride. While shifted, your walking speed increases to 10 feet. Additionally, you can move up to 10 feet as a reaction when a creature ends its turn within 5 feet of you. The reactive movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. Wild Hunt. While shifted, you have advantage on wisdom checks and no creature within 30 feet of you can make an attack roll with advantage against you unless you're incapacitated. So let's jump into each of these individually. So Beast Hide is straight boosting our defenses. So if we are a good tank, this makes us a better tank. If we know how to incentivize our enemies to attack, us, this can go a long way. So someone like an Ancestral Guardian's Barbarian really stands out here. And on top of that, it gives us the plus one AC, which is fantastic. On top of temporary hit points, that's your really good defensive boost. Next up is Longtooth. Longtooth is for strength-based strikers who don't normally get their bonus action attack. Paladin really comes to mind here, but any fighter or any Barbarian who isn't getting a bonus action attack, this can really shine with. And it's actually really nice to take care of that issue, because we usually want to find some way to do a bonus action attack and this is a very low investment way to make that happen. Next up is the Swift Stride. This one is all about harrying your foes. It's all about mobility. So this is the one for casters. This is the one for your archers. And it's kind of an interesting nuance because you can't use your bonus action once you're already pressured. You have to pre-predict it. So you use your bonus action if you're like, okay, this is the type of fight where I think I'm gonna be pressured, use it and then you can protect yourself using your reaction to run away. But it's really good for setting up your kiting features and protects you from those opportunity attacks. Quite nice. Now, Wild Hunt. Wild Hunt is very niche. This is so good on barbarians with their reckless attack. But you might say, well, you use your bonus action to rage and then you use your second bonus action to wild hunt. Most fights aren't gonna use both. Well, then you can think about it as a second rage because instead of boosting your defenses with resistance, you're boosting your offenses with being able to always have advantage. So it's like a different form of rage and sometimes you can even combine the two to go crazy if it's a particularly big fight. I think this really shines with barbarians and I'm not sure it shines much of anywhere else. Prove me wrong though, let me know where you would use a wild hunt outside of a barbarian. So overall, shifters really fit any class. They're quite versatile, they're pretty powerful, their effects are quite good. They are really solid, well-rounded. I think that they shine the least for casters. Casters often want that expanded spell list, but they're not bad for casters, and I think they do particularly shine for marshals more so than most races do. And I would expect to see more shifters coming out in the future, as this is a very solid race with a lot of cool build potential options. For example, just taking a Wild Hunt Zealot Barbarian with Great Weapon Master and just always using your Great Weapon Master feature with your advantage, the, the crits that you're going to land. It all just really fits. It's such a simple build, but that's a pretty powerful Barbarian and it takes three ingredients. 
That's the power of shifter. But what I want to know is how you guys would use your shifter. What kind of build would you do with your shifter? Let me know in the comments down below. We've done a whole bunch of racial deep dives that you can check out here. And with that, I just hope you have yourselves a wonderful day and I will see you on the next one. Later.